to the plan. So to walk to the farthest part of the field? I want to shoot on this goal. <laughs> Why? There's, There's so ricochet balls a perfectly kids good here. goal over there. If you miss over here, then it's going to go in the hill. Yeah, and it's going to bounce right back. And I won't have to chase it all the way in the parking lot right. or into Chili's. Or I don't risk a potential homicide if I peg one of these kids. I can fly. What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. I'm at the field right now in the middle of my training session. I'm in San Diego, California. The last video that you saw, I was in Portland, but basically I'm gonna be spending off season down here with Mimi, my girlfriend and her family down in San Diego. It's pretty ideal training weather, 75 degrees and sunny pretty much all year round. So I won't have to be shoveling snow and training in the rain and wear tons and tons of layers anymore. So let's get in the video. Uh, yeah, this is off season episode one. Today is day three of the workout program. So if you've downloaded the free workout program in the description, you see that it's just biking and a little activation routine and then like 60 minutes of yoga and then finishing with some foam rolling. So that's all I'm gonna do in the gym today. My legs are a little bit, thank you for that, Mimi. <laughs> my, legs, my legs are a little bit sore from the, the two workouts before, the like the weightlifting day and then also like the prehab day. Um, so it's good, I'm yoga. Prehab. Yeah, prehab. Prehab is like, rehab is after to rehabilitate an injury. Mm -hmm. Prehab is like so that you don't get injured. Pre, oh, like, habilitation, yeah. Yeah, it's like exactly prevention stuff. So today is just stretching, mobility work like that. So not the most exciting, but this workout routine is a little bit different than the last few because I really want to focus on injury prevention and just staying healthy and loose. So today's yoga session, like it's really simple, it's boring, but I wanna do a better job of showing you more of the boring stuff, the stuff that I feel like needs to be shown, but isn't always the most exciting or the most like, you know, the most attention grabbing. But um, but yeah, so I warmed up on the bike, I ran a little bit, so it was just a total of about 10 minutes. And then I did a hip opener, just going over that hurdle like you saw. And then I did a little bit of activation stuff. So I'm feeling really loose, everything's feeling warmed up. And once it's feeling warmed up, then that's when I really start my actual stretching. A lot of people kind of just go to the gym and immediately start doing some static stretching. It's not, I mean, they say it's dangerous. I don't think it's really like really that dangerous. You're not going to like hurt yourself unless you're trying to just jump straight into the splits. But, you know, you should get a little bit of a sweat going, a little bit of the blood moving around before you start actually into the going into the stretching. The stretching today, uh, it was, I say yoga, but it was really just kind of going through a full lower body stretch from hamstrings to my groin to glutes to quads, everything. And I spent about 60 to 90 seconds on every single movement or every single stretch. And I did it always with the other side. So 60 to 90 seconds, I didn't have a timer going, but I kind of counted to myself. And then if it felt like it was tight, I held it maybe for as long as two to three minutes, uh, like some of the stuff. And if it was feeling really good, then I only held it for 60 seconds. But um, but yeah, so that's really what I did. There's no rest in between. I just stayed here the entire time. I didn't break that much of a sweat after the running and stuff like that. But yeah, this was pretty much the entire session. And like I've said before, this is a lot different. This gym routine is a lot different than the off-season series that you guys saw back in 2016. And then 2017, I was pretty much just rehabbing to come back from my surgeries. And then now this off-season series, as you're, if you guys have that free gym program, you see there's only really two weightlifting days. And the weightlifting days are more functional. It's not you know heavy weight all the time. And now this is really just kind of stretch and kind of do some prehab and some lighter work. You know, it's about staying healthy. I don't need to over stress my body too much here in the gym. I should be focusing more out of the field. And then I just finished with some foam rolling, getting all the normal stuff. This is the rumble roller. It's like my favorite foam roller because it really gets in deep in like the areas that you want to. But that was the entire session for today. Mimi stopped at Nectar Juice to get her mom a smoothie to bring to her kindergarten class right now. Okay. This is like an everyday thing for Mimi too. Like she's just so, she's just such a nice person. And I definitely have learned a lot from that. Cause I'm not saying like I'm not nice. I feel like I'm pretty nice, but like, I'm not that nice. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I was gonna say that. So for breakfast, I'm just doing four eggs and mushrooms, pretty much what I always have been doing over the last two years. But I love, I love this breakfast. I love eggs. I eat eggs almost every single day. And then after this, I'm gonna let it digest for like 20, 30 minutes. And then Mimi and I are gonna head to the field 
and film a little training session. So four eggs with about six or seven white mushrooms, an orange, and a plum for breakfast. What you doing over there? <laughs> Remember everybody would make fun of me in New Zealand and everywhere else, like, you need to get more soccer balls, like, yeah. stop chasing them. Well, now I got five good balls. Like, these are all match grade, so these are like 100 to 150 each. These two are like $60. Ew, why do you even use those? I know, right? Cheap. So a big problem for me is I've talked to a lot of physios and a lot of uh, people about my body and what's going on and I have trouble with my glutes firing. So a lot of times when my glutes don't fire, other parts of my legs take over. I feel like this is a pretty common problem. So um, you've seen this probably everywhere, but this band stuff that you're just doing helps it burns. And so what happens is it really gets your glutes to activate when you're moving. So. The point is that when you go into your training session, your glutes are firing more, they're activating, and it's not putting stress on other part of your legs that shouldn't be having that stress. Another good band one is to, uh, is to do this for your hip flexors, because a lot of times, especially for soccer players, we have weak or tight hip flexors, and it's just a good exercise for that, to get your hip flexors firing. So in a pro environment, if you go into the locker rooms or anywhere, you'll find a lot of pros biking, doing a very steady state cardio, doing activation routines like that, foam rolling, just to get their muscles loosened, a little bit more range of motion, activated, and then after like about 15 to 30 minutes of that, they go out to the field, and then they actually do like a little warm up where they're actually running more dynamic movements.
really good training session um, about like distribution and stuff and like crossing. Uh, I think we're out here for like an hour and a half, like right, Mimi? I think an hour and a half, Ooh. about an hour and a half. Thanks for Mimi for coming out and filming and for helping my la that last trail, collecting some balls. I appreciate it. Of course. Of course. All right, let's uh, let's go get lunch or something. Water. Same thing. If you can find even another team interested in you for, to bring you into preseason, then he, your agent, can basically go look. We got this team over here that wants him in for preseason. So I got to show you the Theragun. Oh God. <laughs> Come here, Mimi. No. Have you tried that yet? This looks like a torture device. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering more so about like the time. So the worst was in Tulsa. There was only a Qdoba next to me. The whole time that we were there, I thought Qdoba was a grocery store. Like, why are you serious? I've never heard of a Qdoba. Are you, you've never heard of Qdoba before? Mm -hmm. I got a package from YouTube. I already know what's inside. It's long overdue, but I'm very, very excited to open this bad boy up. Mimi, um, this is just as much Mimi's as mine, to be 100% honest. Even She jokes about it, but it's it is. It's going up in my room, so. <laughs> <laughs> are you really gonna read this whole thing right now? It's cool, that's a cool message. Wow. <gasps> Wait, it's like silver? Yeah, silver. That's why it's called the silver plate. I thought just that was silver, but this whole thing's silver? Yeah. <gasps> Holy <laughs> crap. How sick is that? Did they change it? Yeah, it that was. That looks it is, totally it is different and like modern. They did change it. <gasps> oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> I'm so happy. I can oh, see myself are, in it. We, we gotta put this up to my my uh, my picture where I had the very first dollar. Oh yeah, first yeah, yeah, dollars. your first dollar. I mean, my first dollar on YouTube it was like three months in. Three months of working every single day. I'm actually gonna get a little like, a little like, what's the word? Um, mushy? Soft, yeah, soft and mushy here. When I first started on YouTube, it was June of 2015 is when I started, June of 2015. And I remember editing videos and, and I, having this idea about YouTube and being kind of like self-conscious if I wanted to go on YouTube at all. And uh, just because I didn't want my friends or anybody else to see and like make fun of me. But I just did it anyway and just was like, yeah, screw it, whatever. People are gonna make fun of you no matter what. Um, and so I just started making videos and just going at it. And like, I remember grinding and Mimi came out all that time. I remember filming on the iPhone 5. Mm -hmm. Mimi came out for everything, no questions asked, just popped up, held the iPhone 5, filmed me all the time. Never complained once, except when I hit her with the ball, like one time when I was like, okay, just get in front of me. I want to curl the ball around you. Yeah, he was like, I was like, are you sure you can curl it this much? And I'm sitting yeah. right in front of him. I curled he, it too much, I'm too no, skilled. No, he kicked it straight up my face. Yeah, that was, that was bad. It took me almost four months of working and just grinding every Every single day before I made a dollar on YouTube. Four months of eight hour plus days editing, doing Instagram stuff until I made my first dollar. And I think I passed a thousand subscribers after about nine or ten months on YouTube. And then it just started snowballing from there. But I just had that vision of like it growing and I never had like a set goal or a set number. My goal is just always to reach as many people as possible. So the fact that like it's real now, like YouTube went from sending me that one dollar to now sending me like a hundred thousand dollars, or a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I wish, wish it was a hundred thousand dollars, but a hundred thousand subscriber plaque. That's insane to me, it's mind blowing. And so thank you so much to Mimi, thank you uh, so much for you guys. Like obviously, I, there's no way I could get this without all of you. So I really appreciate it, it's really cool. But yeah, this is pretty special, I'm, re I'm pretty, happy about that that's it looks really sleek yeah like that's gonna hang in your office when, cool. when you get an office <laughs> when you get an apartment <laughs> for more than three or, months or a bedroom when i get a bedroom yeah, it'll be in your suitcase with you wherever you go yeah, 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 yeah. so we worked for like three hours or so and then we went out to dinner with uh one of mimi's friends riley we got some sushi so it was really nice to see her i haven't seen her for like I was like two or three years or something. Mm -hmm. So it was good to see her. And now we came back, worked for like another hour or so on here. I got just making Instagram videos. This, each Instagram video and each post takes a long time to create. And I have to create the, I'm not going to complain. It's the best job in the world. <laughs> what are you <laughs> but doing? But now we're going to get in bed and we're going to watch uh, the Jake Paul documentary. No, don't tell people. Why not? Is, is it embarrassing? We've been looking forward to this 
all day. It's Shane Dawson's video about mm -hmm. Jake Paul. We're on what episode seven, seven right now. So, Ooh. if you guys watch it, leave a comment. Or if this is really lame that we're watching this, then don't comment anything because like, it's gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> I'm just leaning against the bed. It's really comfy. I feel really weird right now. Stop standing. Why are you standing Why over there? So weird? I'm just, I'm Why are you standing up like this? I'm just leaning. You just do your bed. outro normally. That's how I stand. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys.